Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another StarCraft II Legacy of the Void cast featuring, in the bottom right corner, playing as the Blue Terran, we have our friend Root Kelizar. And spawning in the top left portion of the map, we've got our even closer friend, I'm just kidding, I don't know any of these people, <laughs> the yellow Protoss player, Tings. Neeb. Now, this was actually what looks like a series of three games played between Ting, Neeb, and Root Kelizer. I don't know why I'm still saying the team names. Because uh, they're right here in front of me, that's why. On spawning tool that I found. So hopefully we can just go ahead and cast all three of these and not do a horrible job of it. Basically, uh, Ting... Man, I keep wanting to, <laughs> I keep wanting to call him Ting because the Ting goes skra, you know. But uh, we've got Neeb sending the probe across the map to try to check out what Kelizer is doing, and he's gonna find out that he's building a bunker right at the top of his ramp. Not a bunker, a barracks. I'm sorry, I'm a Zerg player, but uh, he's gonna he's gonna tickle it with the beam. Yeah, there's nothing that he can really do. Uh, Kelizer is going to be sending the probe after. Wow. He's going to be sending the SCV after the probe, but he's not going to do any damage. He's just going to let him walk right out of there. We do have a Marine coming out of the barracks right off the rip, but I'm pretty sure that probe is going to be getting out of here as soon as possible. We have Kelizer's SCV coming down to try to take the probe out, maybe distract him long enough for that Marine to come down. There he is. He's going to take out the probe. Let's see. Is the probe too fast? One more shot. Nice. There we go. Kelizer taking out the probe of Neeb that was blocking his expansion. Meanwhile, Kelizer is going to be moving up to scout himself. He is going to see this Nexus coming down at Neeb's expansion. That's okay. We are going to come in here. We're going to see more probes built. We have our cybernetics core just finishing just now. We're going to be researching warp gate. We have a stalker coming out. And meanwhile, Kelizer is just, just poking around. Not really doing too much. There's not too much to do in the early game. He does have this marine right here to block anything that tries to come out. Any more probes trying to come in here with the cannons or something. Uh, we do have Neeb's Stalker just finishing. Is he going to be moving across the map? We'll find out. We've got one of the SCVs from Kelizer moving back home. Are Stalkers faster than SCVs? I don't know. He's too, he's too close anyway. He's not going to catch him. He's safe. He's safe with the marine. The three marines and a bunker that is definitely going to be able to hold off the stalker that is coming. The bunker is definitely going to finish before the stalker gets here. So these marines are going to be safe and sound inside. Meanwhile, we have more marines being produced out of the reactor barracks here. And there's nothing the stalker is going to be able to do. What are you doing? I know exactly what he's doing. He's just backing off for the shields. Yeah, yeah that's fine. He can take shield damage all day. He's got another stalker that he made at his expansion there. Let's see what else. Warp gate not being chrono boosted. What? Okay. Oh, because they changed it. I, I'm a Zerg player. <laughs> Bear in mind, I'm a Zerg player. They changed it. So now it costs energy, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure that patch went through. It's been a while since I've played last, but... That's okay. Now we've got our Oracle coming in from Neeb. See if he can sweep himself around that there bunker and try to harass the probes, the SCVs, the workers. Let's just call them workers. <laughs> call everything drones. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, he is going to be out of the range of the bunker. The Marines are going to be coming down. He's going to take one. He's going to take two. Can he get a third one? No, he can't, but he's going to fly up towards... Oh, right into a big cloud of Marines. He's not going to be enough to take him out, though. He's getting a little greedy. No, he's safe. He's probably just going to back up and hide and come back in for the SCVs. Let's see what happens here. We've got the Marines moving in. Is it going to die? Nope, it's half HP. He's going to rally himself right away there. He's fine. Meanwhile... Hey, Neeb's already ahead of the curve. He's got another Oracle coming down. Also, Warp Gate is just about to finish. We've got the robotics facility coming down. We've got two gates. We're making a shield battery. Neeb looks like he's going to be in a pretty good spot to defend against any marine attacks that want to come up. Even though there is a quite a large force for Kelizer right here, it looks like he's going to be moving out. Meanwhile, we've got the two Oracles... Just going to tag those with a revelation real quick. Wow, I actually called something by the right name for once. <laughs> I 
It looks like, uh, like I said, Kelliser is going to be sending out his whole army. Meanwhile, the Oracles are just going to go to town here. He does have this Missile Terra in his Mineral Lion, which is going to be enough to keep those Oracles away. He's got another one in his main. Uh, and Neeb can see these because of Revel Rev Revelation, Resolution, my, my New Year's my New Year's Revelation with my Oracles. Uh, I think since the Shield Battery is here, yep, he's making the, the Sentry for Guardian Shield. I think he's going to be okay. The Shield Battery, in my opinion, is pretty good. And obviously, Kelizer does not want to engage on that. He is popping Stimpak. He's going to drop the Force Fields down, though. Let's see. One Oracle getting taken out. Meanwhile, the Stalkers are going to town on the Marines and not really taking any damage because of the Shield Battery. It is only on 8 energy, though. So I think maybe one more well-placed attack with quite a few more Marines, like Kelizer has back at home. Perhaps could use a little bit more Marauders, which he's churning out of these other barracks. That's good for him. He's going to be sending these guys back just in case any Oracle shenanigans want to happen. Meanwhile, Neeb setting up a third base. Let's see, he's got a lot of army right here. He's made some more sentries. He's made a uh, Immortal. He's made a couple of Stalkers. And those are going to be some Adepts. Very good, very good. Uh, we do see Resonating Glaives. Researching. Almost done. He's making a Warp Prism. And there is another Oracle. Got two SCVs there, as you can see from the fancy WCS Observer overlay. Very nice, very nice. That Resonating Glaives is about to finish. Meanwhile, this Oracle is going to be trying to come in and snipe anything that it can. He's got three so far. Is it going to get taken out? Those Marines are really, really hungry for some Oracle parts. Nope. Not going to happen. Meanwhile, we do have... More uh, Adepts being warped in for Neeb. Let's see, he's going to be taking out the rocks. Yes, he is going to be taking out these rocks just to move. Let's see. Oh, Kelizer is moving his army out here. Going to snipe that Oracle right out of the sky. I think he just wanted to see what was going on. Try to tag him with Revelation, but it didn't really work out for him. Meanwhile, we do have... Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. We do have Neeb's Warp Prism coming in, dropping some Adepts into the main of Kelizer. You can see his army's going to keep pushing in here, but we do have the Adepts coming in here. Let's see. One Marauder, one Marine, not going to be enough. He's going to be evacuating his SCVs here. And are they going to shade out? Are they just going to die here? What's going on? It, oh, GG. Wow. Wait a second. I missed... Uh, oh, man. There was a battle up here that I missed. Let's see what happens here. Because at the same time that the Adepts were in the main base, it looks like... Oh, my goodness. Look at that filthy, filthy force field. That's probably what it was. It's too much for Kelliser to handle all at the same time. Anyway, uh, that was one game going to Neeb in this three-game series that I found on Spawning Tool. So if you guys think I didn't do a terrible job of casting, you can leave me a like and subscribe for some more StarCraft videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. And goodbye.